How's it going? Today it is cold. It is so cold. They have not had temperatures like this in Oklahoma in almost 40 years. It is going down. It's not going to be, be above freezing for a week. And it's going down the single digits and maybe into the negative. They have not been in that kind of cold in this camper yet. So I'm trying to make some adjustments here. My place is tore up. I just went grocery shopping and got more propane. <clears throat> we'll see what happens. But let me show you what I got going on here. Okay, so about a month ago, just in case, I did go out and buy a second Mr. Buddy heater. So you can see I got this one going here. That's the one I usually use. And it does good down to about 30 degrees and then it just can't do it anymore. So today I hooked up the second Mr. Buddy heater and between the two of them, it is great. And you can see I'm defrosted my water it was frozen when I got back from town so what I'm trying to do is get this twin mattress which has been my storage space so all this stuff that's all over the place here yeah that's usually goes back there used as needed <clears throat> my clothes my dirty laundry my hiking backpacks and scuba gear and PC and everything goes back there and this is the one where I sleep, but this mattress is done for. I can feel the cold coming up from below the mattress. Um, basically, this is open air underneath here on this pullout. And then there's a half inch piece of plywood. And then I did go, one of the first things I did when I bought this was to buy some cheap ground pads that you would use for camping. And I put those under the mattress to help insulate a little bit better and it, it, it does help if it wasn't for that I'd be really cold up but this mattress is really done for so I'm going to double it up so I have a six inch mattress these are like three inches thick so I'm trying to get everything off of there so I can get the mattress down here and then put everything back over there and it's a huge mess yeah I don't know how well good this is going to work there's a lot of condensation that was underneath this mattress I can feel Moisture here. You can see this is the, <clears throat> the foam pads I got and then the plywood underneath. I probably would have been better off in this cold without the plywood. But you can see moisture down along the back walls. And yeah, and also the, the mold growing because of it. I haven't pulled any, done anything even looked back here in a while. Whew, not good. And the bottom of this mattress is definitely wet. Definitely wet. Yeah, this is going to have to get changed up pretty quick here. But I think for now I'm going to have to deal with it. Just put it on there. Deal with it. And yeah. The, the sooner I get out of this little camper, the better. And I think instead of just trying to build the house, I am going to build a workshop first. I keep going back and forth on that. <clears throat> I got to get out of this thing. I just <laughs> I need to burn it to the ground is what I need to do. I need to just be done with it. Because this condensation and the... Yeah. Yeah, I need to get out of here. So I'm going to do the, the small shed first and live in it until I get the house built. Right, let me try to get this worked out. Yeah, the shower tent. Everything is covered. freezing rain including my solar panels which have a slick shield across the top of them yeah so the cold wouldn't be so bad it's just it's, oh my god the icicles um yeah the icicles i don't know if you can see that it wasn't gonna last so long this is they're talking 40 years since this has been this cold for this long and moved my mattress over last night that did help quite a bit so still snack down quite a bit but it was look at this it was a lot better i slept pretty warm i don't run the heat at night anyway it doesn't matter how cold it gets i just don't run the heat i stay pretty nice and comfy warm 
but this is going to be interesting. I'm just waiting for this. Once this passes, I can't get much done for work right now. I mean, I, everything, the ground leaves, everything is coated in. Nice. So it's just too slippery and it's not going to happen. Oh, I did pick up another trail cam. I've been having fun with the trail cam. Um, so I picked up a second one that I want to uh, set up in a different place. So that should be kind of cool. It is just so quiet out here because nobody's coming out here. It's just everybody's kind of hunkering down around these parts. So it's kind of nice. I have all this area to myself. Nobody's even building. I can usually hear from the ridge behind me. I can usually hear something going on. Chainsaws building. And the ridge behind me over here, they've been building since I got here. Chainsaws and hammering. So there's just nothing going on right now. Nobody's doing anything. This may sound silly to people living in the city or wherever, but this is something I am so grateful for. And that is, I can put my garbage on the side of my dirt road here, all the way back in here. And Vern comes and picks it up. $20 a month. Once a week he comes back here. and he picks up the garbage. I don't know what I would do. I mean, I got like three bags of garbage a week. Where would I get rid of that? I have no idea. There is no transfer stations or anything like that around here. I have no idea what I would do without this guy. So, like, when it's raining and the road's getting muddy, I will load it up in my exterior and bring it down to the main road for him so he doesn't have to drive all the way back here because I appreciate that guy that much. Little simple things like that really mean a lot. Well, I'm glad I came out today to get propane because I went to the first place. They were out. They're one of the places that refills and they have a huge tank. They're out of propane and I'm not a dollar, dollar general and I just got one of the last, well, two of the last like four tanks they have. I think everybody's in the same situation as me. It's cold and I'm running through the propane pretty fast. Whew. Didn't really want to come into town, but I'm glad I did it today and didn't wait another, I could probably get another three or four days and I have propane, but I don't want to wait for it to, to run out and then find out nobody has any. Oh yeah, I also had to get water. Six gallons of water because all my water's frozen except for a few gallons. Well, maybe two gallons, maybe. Yeah, the other jugs are outside and they're still frozen. I brought them in the house, but the bottom, you know, two feet of my camper, it's like below freezing, even though it might be 65 degrees up at the ceiling, it's still freezing cold at the bottom. So it's not thawed out for me, so I had to get one. Yeah, hopefully this doesn't last too much longer. I'm talking about a week. And also, that, yeah, this is why I make these little short videos. It's because it's been cloudy for, I think, four days now. Four or five days. And it's projected that it's not going to be sunny for at least another week. I just looked at the weather today. And for, for the forecastable future, as much as that is, it's cloudy. So it doesn't matter how many solar panels you have. If there's no sun, you don't have power. So that's what I'm running into right now. I'm barely getting enough to turn a light on at night and turn the fan on to circulate the heat camper once in a while but as far as cranking up the inverter and uh, the laptop to upload videos it's just not going to happen until I get some sun there's no way around it so I'm just kind of going to piece together I'm making a few minutes every day of video and got to kind of piece together what's going on there's not much going on everything's frozen solid there's accidents all over the place I see just south here in Texas there's a uh, hundred I think it was a hundred car pile up on a highway, I-5 I think it was. Yeah, so it's, they're not used to this kind of weather around here. It's breaking things. It's causing uh, water lines to burst, main water lines to burst, and some people are getting a lot of accidents because they're not used to driving on ice. So, that's what I'm dealing with. It is what it is. All right, so I wanted to get a video up today. I did get propane yesterday. I think I'm okay. It's going to be close. It is now flurries on Friday and they're talking about historic, historic levels of snow. We're talking 15 to 20 inches of snow for this area. 
I'm really hoping that doesn't happen. Now that's talking about that Sunday, Monday. I think I got enough propane in the tanks that I'm using to get me through, at least through today. Today's Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, because I'm going to be locked in here. I'm going to be snowed in. So I'm really, I'm a little concerned about the propane. But it is getting colder. It hasn't been above freezing for a few days now, and it's not going to. Just got to get through it. Today's Friday, and next Friday they're calling for 50 degrees. This is just an aberration. Of course, I'm lucky enough to be here for it. Boy, I got so much work to do. I'm getting nothing done. It's just a matter of... This isn't really a bit off grid now. It's, it's a matter of just getting through this next week. It's kind of a little bit of survival here. I'm really hoping my propane doesn't run out because I won't be able to get out of here. My garbage man won't come up here. I took the garbage all the way down to the main dirt road yesterday. and He gave me a call today saying, hey, sorry I didn't get there, but it's too slippery up there for me to go. As a matter of fact, nobody's been down this road for about a month. Which is weird since when I first moved here, there was people down here every day. Like three to five cars a day came down this road. I don't know what they were all doing, but since I've been here, that's all stopped. And now nobody comes here. I have a feeling people were using this as a, I don't know, I, I have no evidence of it, but there was people that came down and parked for like five minutes, got out, went down to the next property, and then left, and the next day another car came and parked in the exact same part, spot and did the same thing. So I don't know what that was about. I don't know if that was some sort of drop-off point or what was going on there. I don't like this. <laughs> I'd rather be getting something done. I'm getting a little little cabin fever going on but it's really just like between the wind and the cold and it's just nothing I can get, get done about it well next Friday I'll be getting stuff done I just gotta get there how we doing I got one two fulls oh boy yeah that tank might I don't think it's gonna get me through today all right Make a video in a few days and see what happens. See you later.